Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. It is match day, the third one in a week. Feels like the games are non-stop, feels like they're every day at the minute. We've got Burnley at home, a traditional, good old-fashioned three o'clock kickoff. And then, obviously, we've got PSG next Wednesday, but hopefully, and all the fans are excited and everything else, but hopefully the players need to be concentrated on the game in hand today. They don't want to be thinking and have one eye on PSG already because it's the Champions League not yet you know what I mean when you get into the Premier League and take things seriously today because although everyone's high after that 8 0 win and that you know we don't want to be thinking it's going to be a breeze today even though if you watched my preview I did say it would I did say it would be I said it would be maybe a 4 0 3 0 4 0 a day but uh, get the three points on the board hopefully another clean sheet and that'll do me nicely obviously it remains to be seen what the team news is there is late checks over the likes of Botman, Wilson, Isaac, doubts over other players so we'll see how we get on but first off the only place to go for match day scran is meat stack meat stack in the big market let's go check out what they've got on offer today before we do the pump freeze pre-match chat before the game been bigging this flag up, nobody's got one, everyone will want one. Oh, look at that. Quality. That's class, that mate. Take that in Milan, eh? Yeah. I'm going to Dortmund. I'll take it for you. It'll be in Dortmund. I'll take it for you. Oh, <laughs> class, mate. Rafted up there at Pumphrey's Bar. Stay tuned for some updates on the pre match chat and maybe somewhere else soon. So we will have a talk about that and I'll let you know. But it was good crack today. Thanks for people that turned up for the QA. Team News is out. The Team News is on your screen now. Big news is no Sven Botman and no Callum Wilson. Eddie Howe said yesterday in the press conference there would be late checks on those players. They are not available, not even in the squad. So Jamal Lascelles keeps his place at centre-back, this time alongside Fabian Shaw. Paul Dummett drops to the bench and as I've said, there's no Wilson. So that means no striker on the bench because Isaac is fit enough to start, thankfully. Hopefully he is and he hasn't just been pushed in there because he himself has been struggling with the odd niggle. So Isaac, Almiron, Gordon is the front three. You've got Bruno and Longstaff in midfield alongside Elliot Anderson. And then the back four is as is expected with Nick Pope. So Tino on the bench, harsh in a way. I think he deserved to start. I'm interested to see maybe a uh, tino Trippier combination because of how good Livermento was. Who's going to play right back, left back? Doesn't matter, they're both class. But for now, that's the team on your screen. Let's head up to St. James Park. See how we get on. Ten minutes for kick off. Look at the actual state of this again.
Newcastle not knew that 2-0. Oh, no. Isaac was in easy. Two touches bad, took the two close for the keeper. Should have even got it after that. Newcastle should be 2 0 for Isaac. Newcastle won barely nil and it should be more to be honest. It should be 3 0 up at least. I don't know how it's only 1 0. Uh, Isaac's had one off the line. Their keeper has made one or two saves, but Newcastle should have this game in the bag. <laughs> uh, you know, it should be it should be done this game to be fair. If we get a second or the third, I think this game's done. You know, we're giving Burnley a chance to snatch a goal that they wouldn't deserve. Um, but at the minute it's three. So you know, it's only one. As I said, it should be two or three. You can't just keep doing what they're doing. It's been pretty comfortable. They haven't threatened at all. Barely. I thought they'd be poor. Newcastle need to do a bit more and even that second or third goal and make life a bit easier for ourselves because you know we're struggling to really capitalise on the chances that we've had, you know. I think we should have made things a bit easier for ourselves, put it that way, but there's 45 minutes to go, Newcastle by far the better side. Let's just get another goal, wrap the game up, you know, like I said, they, their keeper's done well, he's made one or two saves. We've had one cleared off the lane, the odd chance here and there, but uh, against the Gallagher in second half, both we take with chances a bit more to get the break of the game wrapped up. You see how we're going on. Trippier only makes it 2 0 within seconds of the second half, kick it off. Deflected just way for the corner. on the pitch, two minutes, now he's down and out, he's going to have to come off, what a nightmare that is. problems.
There we go, and people, it's finished. Newcastle 2, Burnley 0. Could have been more, should be more, but that'll do. Another clean sheet, another three points. Make sure you check out the match. <laughs>